Hi. Jan. Jan. Yeah, it's Jan. I'm calling from uh, Los Angeles. Good okay. to speak. Okay. Good to meet you, Jan. <clears throat> so my question is about uh, working with or integrating shadow material. Um, some time ago uh, on retreat, uh, I had an insight seeing the, the chatter in my head and I realized that it was anger and this was a stunning thing for me to to realize I had never thought I was angry I didn't and then to see that I was angry all the time um, and it had ramifications um, energetic and physical and uh, but it seemed um, healing and um, currently, I'm, I'm, I had another realization um, similar to that recently, uh, whereby a, a couple of years ago, I had uh, learned that uh, uh, my family, there's, there's uh, narcissism in, in my family. And I, I thought that this had affected me. And I thought that I had some, maybe some aspects of it. But the realization that I, I recently had was that I am a narcissist. And that there was some, it felt like a, a value in naming that and owning that and um, being able to see the effects of that, that that's had on me. Um, so my question is about holding this information in a way that's healthy and useful um, because it, it doesn't seem like, uh, you know, there, there is an urge to bypass this information, um, and there, uh, I, 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 I also sense hints of wanting to attach to it and make it even more solid. So um, yes, yeah. Okay. So, Jan, the one in you that notices that you are angry is obviously not itself angry the one that notices narcissistic tendencies in you is not itself narcissistic you are not a narcissist you are awareness you may have narcissistic tendencies that you've inherited from your family so there may be certain ways of thinking or ways of behaving that could be described as narcissistic but that doesn't make you a narcissist D don't don't um, allow your identity to be usurped by a, a habit of thinking and behaving it is a, a pattern of thinking and behaving in you it's not what you are I, I, I definitely understand that I, I definitely have, I feel like a base of that. Uh, but if, if anything, I feel like my tendency more is to use that as a bypass to settle into that and that um, to bypass. At this time, it's been feeling like there is more value in keeping that there, uh, that, that it's there to, to teach me something. Um, but it's there to teach uh, you. That I can, yeah. It's there to teach you yeah. who you truly are. Right. It's there to help you to see who you truly are. So when you find yourself either thinking or behaving in a narcissistic way, it, you, unless you're lost in it, of course, if you're lost in it, you can't do anything. But the moment you notice, I am behaving, thinking and behaving in a narcissistic way, you, you are already standing outside the pattern of thinking and behaving. So you see it as a behavior and you see this behavior is not expressive of who I truly am. It's an old pattern that I've inherited from my family or wherever. Uh, but it's not, the pattern of thinking and behaving is not an expression, a direct expression of who I essentially am and just hold up that 
It's like holding up a mirror to the, th the thinking and the, and, and the behaving. Holding up a mirror of understanding. You, you want to think and behave in a way that is consistent with your understanding. I am the open, empty, infinite presence of awareness and, and the same awareness that everybody else is. You want your that understanding to not simply be an understanding that you keep in the privacy of your heart. You want to think in a way that is consistent with that. You want to behave in a way that is consistent with that. And obviously, these old narcissistic habits are, are not in line with that understanding. The, the experience I've had recently is that it actually seems to bring me more present, as in I've had, I had an experience recently where in real time, I saw the, the kind of, it just felt like a contraction rise up and because I was there and able to be aware of it it's like I didn't embody it I exactly didn't it's perfect it exactly it, you, you you notice it rise up you, you you're, you're not completely lost in it or identified with it you are so to speak in in the background uh, uh, observing it you see oh this this old pattern in me is being triggered again by some situation but you don't lose yourself in it. Now, every time you notice it rise like that and you don't lose yourself in it, you are breaking that habit. You are weakening the, ten the narcissistic tendency. Every time you observe it like that and you don't either reject it or identify yourself with it, you are eroding the habit. And in time, you will, you will feel that you'll notice the impulse to think in this way or behave in this way before you even start doing so. And noticing the impulse will be enough to dissolve it. So it will never even get as far as your thoughts and your actions. Right. That, that's, that's the thing that has begun to happen. Perfect. That, that is this, Perfect. It, it, it's begun to happen. And because of that, it's... There, there's something where I want, uh, I get the sense that naming this and acknowledging it, even though that does on its face seem like identification, strong no, identification. No, naming. Is, yeah, no, no, you're right. Naming it and acknowledging it is, is valuable because in order to do so, you have to stand back and look at it. You can only name something that you are at a distance from. So you have had to observe this tendency in yourself and, and name it and acknowledge it. That's very good. And in doing so, you, are, you have had to stand back from it. And you have had said, this is a character trait in me. It is not me. It is a habit in me. It is not me. So that, that, that is very good. What's important is that you don't lose yourself in it again, identify with it. You don't feel, I am a narcissist. Uh, but nor do you reject it or deny it. You, you just remain the presence of awareness. And you, 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 know, um, you know how on, a, on, a, on an iPhone you can select your ringtone. For, 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 so consider this, this appearance of this narcissistic tendency in you like a, like a, a self-selected ringtone, a specific ringtone to you that rings to remind you of your true nature. So this tendency in you actually cooperates with establishing yourself in your true nature. So every time you feel it, that is the signal. Take a step back, observe this tendency, don't identify myself with it, but don't reject it. And every time you do that, you will be weakening the tendency, its tendency to arise. This, um, that, that's helpful. And it, I, I, I think you've just described what the experience has been. I mean, there's some intellectual awareness about that, but I, I think the, the thing that I was most wanting to kind of uh, connect with you is this... Uh, this confusion of um, of uh, naming this because it felt 
uh, again, like, like when I described years ago, when I realized that I was angry all the time and I had no confusion, there was power in that. There was, yes. And, and there, there is, so it's, um, I, I, I don't want to put it certainly not on a pedestal, but there's something that I had just refuse to acknowledge or, or too, too painful to see or, or wouldn't allow myself to see that I guess part of it is is wanting to own it wanting to bring it out of the shadows yes I exactly because if you're not able to name it and acknowledge it you are you're not seeing it clearly you're denying it you're, you're so involved with it that you can't it's like an it's like an alcoholic who cannot say I'm alcoholic. The, the right. alcoholic at, right. at, at exactly. some stage has to say, I'm an alcoholic. That is the beginning of the healing. Yes. It's the yes. first step. And it's exactly the same. When you were so involved with it, w with your anger and your narcissism, that you couldn't even recognize it, you were totally identified with it. You had to take a step back, look at yourself and say, I'm full of anger. And that was the first step on the, the road to, to recovery or healing. 